Yeah, I was late. I was asleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like that, my dino? This is the new Balenciaga glasses, the gold ones. Mm -hmm. These are gold Balenciaga glasses. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's going on? What is going on? What's going on, Twit? What's going on, Don? Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody? What y'all got going on? Oh, yeah, the Nina is leaning. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, goodbye. Let me take it off here. Mm -hmm. What's going on? You know, good, 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 good night. Good night, good evening. Um, happy, um, jolly season. What's going on? What's going on, Miss A? After I got the phone with you early, Missy, I went to sleep. Oh, yes, Lord. But what's going on, y'all? What's up? Mm -hmm. Got on these new Balenciaga glasses. Uh-huh. Got on these new Balenciaga glasses. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a real shady situation, you know. Um, you know, let's... Um, Happy birthday, happy birthday to mine, happy birthday to mine, happy birthday to mine, happy birthday, Kitty, what's up? Um, so let's jump into it, you know, this weekend was a, um, oh my God, I've been tired. This weekend was an awesome weekend. Um, I went on to Houston this past weekend, um. Shout out to Houston, man. You know, I, I got to say shout out to Houston, man. Houston really shows up, shows out, and we have the fucking blast. I ain't going to lie. We have the blast when I go to Houston. I ain't going to lie. Shout out to Houston, bro. Every time I go to Houston to be a party, I ain't going to lie, bro. Um, I was at Michelle said it's still my birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. Michelle's birthday is December 8th, but Michelle say her whole birthday is December 1st to December 31st. Bless us. Bless her heart. Um, shout out to Houston, man. I love Houston, bro. Um, we cut up Saturday in Houston. I ain't gonna lie. You know, we cut up Saturday. Um, but we got to discuss this. You know, we got to discuss this, um... You know, I am a um a New Orleans native. Let's start there first. You know, um, I'm not one of those who was born in um Slidell or you know um born in Metairie, West We Go, um, um, um Harvey and um you know all these funny sounding places. You know what I'm saying, Morero, Morero, and all these kind of funny places. You know, I am a New Orleans. A Orleans Parish native. Um, I was born and raised in New Orleans. You know, I am a Orleans Parish native. Um, in in, in the, um, you know, we we play about a lot in New Orleans. You know, we talk about. Let me take the glasses off. Let's let's we got to make this make sense. You know, um. When we started to um, when we started to speak on different things going on in the city and um, just being honest about things, because I chose to be honest about things that goes on in um, my hometown. You know, yes, yes, Polo, I am a New Orleans native. 
Um, you know, I chose to speak on my opinions um, of the second lines that go on, you know, on um, Sundays and stuff like that. Um, you know, if I didn't like it, I was saying it, you know. Um, I used to say, you know, how, you know, to me, my opinion, how this group looked stupid and that group looked stupid. And, um, the, the, um, you know, I also learned that um, it, from the culture, I also learned from the culture that um, the Queen's crew and the King's crew are different from the second line crew and all that. Hello, Nola. Hello, Nola. You know, I learned that. I learned that in NOLA that um, the King's crew and the Queen's crew are different from the actual second line group. Uh -huh. I learned that. And, um, you know, I always say, well, you know, um, the Queen, the Queen, the King's crew looked stupid or um, maybe the Queen's crew looked stupid or the King's crew looked good, but the women's crews looked. It was always something going on. Or maybe the king and queen looked good, but the people on the ground with the feet work looked stupid. Um, well, you know, I'm here to give my opinion like I give my opinion um, on everything else. And I'm going to open the floor for other people to give their opinions. Um, but I, I need to say this. Um, on yesterday, um, it was the um, the big nine. This was the big nine second line. And, um, I just need to know from, um, I just wanted to be known that... Um, from the people on the floats, which was the kings and the queens or whoever it was, um, down to the people on the ground, second line and all that, um, um, they all looked as stupid as a whole. You know, everybody looked dumb. It was honest, but throw the whole, at this point, we just need to throw the whole night ward away. Um, you know, I, I, now all of a sudden the night ward people are coming to their, um, is, are coming to reality and they're saying that, um, oh, you know, it's not we. It wasn't us out of desire. It wasn't us out of Florida. Um, it wasn't us from across the canal. It was this part and that. Anything dealing with a nine should be thrown away. That was utterly ridiculous. I need to first off. Wait, hold up. First off, let's start here first. We the people need to understand who is doing what it was that was a circus on yesterday now i don't know what's going on you know what i'm saying i don't know what is going on listen people was flagging me down you know i was riding the car and they had people standing up with signs all in the local new orleans area saying please Speak to me, Keith. I was saying, no, I can't. You know, I couldn't speak about it. It was just, it, it, it was unbelievable what had happened on yesterday. You know what I'm saying now? Um, even though it's a free show for us lookers and bookers, it's a free show for us lookers and bookers. But this was a time on yesterday. At this point, charge me to come to the second line. I don't know what was going on. Who does the recruiting for the night war? This was unbelievable. Oh, my God. It was mind-blowing on yesterday. Them people were saying, you know what, Key? I didn't know Shell meant had a second line. Them people asked me, was it a military holiday on yesterday? What is going on in the culture? Let's talk about it. You know, last year, I probably did go a little far. You know, probably I did. You know, sometimes I do go a little far with my opinions. But, you know, last year, I said that certain second line groups look like um a senior citizen gathering. Um... You know, I I I, I said a lot. You know, I said a lot about these people. Um, I said that they was wearing all kinds of reptiles on their feet. And I just said all kinds of things. And people felt offended by it. You know what I'm saying? And, and then they would go on their Facebook pages. And they would get with their friends. And they would upload all kinds of statuses saying, Keith is hurting the culture. 
Keat is hurting the culture. Keat is dividing the culture. Keat don't know fuck about the culture, and Keat is messing up the culture. But oh, what happened on yesterday? I was in a whole nother state. What happened with the culture on yesterday? Mm -hmm. Remember, see, it was Keith, though. Keith breaking up the culture. Keith don't know nothing about the culture. Keith, Keith, Keith. Well, what happened on yesterday? Who is the people that he had? Who could the person who booked the who, for the people who booked the people yesterday for the second line need to press the request and explain to the great city of the New Orleans what is going on. I mean, let me tell you how deep it was. It was so deep that I spoke with somebody yesterday. I ain't going to say no names. But they um they were actually a part of the band on yesterday. And they even saying, you know what, Keith? People was telling me that I was racist. I said, oh, what? They say, Keith, they were saying that I was racist. I said, well, why would they say that? He said that because the second lines is all that us black people have from the past. Now, look, uh, I was raised to not see color. You know, when I was raised, I was raised not to see color. I saw people for what it was. You know what I'm saying? I saw men for men. I saw women. Well, better yet, I see men for men. I see women for women. I see nigger bitches for nigger bitches. And I see bitches for niggas. And I don't see no colors on them. You know what I'm saying? I don't see white. I don't see black, green, or purple neither. I don't see colors. I see people. But it was a time, y'all see. But yesterday, all of a sudden, when y'all saw Lily Goodfoot, mm -hmm, when y'all saw Lily Goodfoot out there, and we all saw Jumping Jack out there, and then we all saw Two Wong Fu come out there, oh Lord, now it's the culture. Oh, Lord, this is all that the black people have left to call what's ours. Why can't we, let's start there first. They were saying why we can't have nothing to ourselves. Now, wait a minute now. Now, what are we? Are we being racist because Lily, Lily Goodfoot then came out here? Or is is it a problem because Jumping Jack is out here? Or is it a problem that Two Wong Fu is out here? It's all right for y'all to go to Two Wong Fu and get y'all toes and nails done. It's all right to go to Two Wong Fu and get y'all eyebrows arched and waxed. Mm -hmm. See, Belinda been plucking your eyebrows and arching your eyebrows with a razor. But see, when Tu Wong Fu began waxing your eyebrows, we going to Tu Wong Fu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now since Tu Wong Fu, Lily Goodfoot, and Jumping Jackman came out there, it's a problem. So at this point, culture people. See, where the culture people at? The ones who's in their um, group messages dragging for me. The ones who's on a Facebook uploading posts about me. Uh, we need them to come on up here. Why is the people who for the culture? Because see, the culture, they said was um, reptile snakeskin shoes, alligator shoes, crocodile shoes, dumb stupid clothes with dumb funky feathers flying all over the place. See, that was the culture. Oh, so now it's against the culture to have the white man and woman and the Chinese man out there, second lining, it, start, it seems to me that the culture is the culture when it's convenient. Uh-huh. See, let's start there first. Uh-huh. Now, let's start there first. Oh, yeah, bitch. Now, let's call a spade a spade. It seems like the culture is only the culture when it's convenient. Uh-huh. See, that's what I'm saying. 
Uh huh. See, black folk. Let's start here. Black folk in the culture ain't got their money to afford what's going on in the culture. Uh huh. See, let's start there first. Uh huh. See, the black people. Uh huh. Let's roll it. Let's roll it out. Let's roll it out like a piece of carpet, bitch. Pop the popcorn now. Sit back, relax, and let's wrestle. It seems like to me that the black people of the culture can't afford the culture no more. So now we got the ad. Here you go. Here go the big one right here. Now we got to do the gentrification. Oh, Lord. So, bitch, now the city is in the uproar because Lily Goodfoot, Jumping Jack, and Two Wong Fu out there popping it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right for Two Wong Fu and his whole family to come from the Vietnam War and buy... Every motherfucking nail shop from here to Africa. Let's start there first. <laughs> it's all right for two one foo to not hire no black people and scrub feet, toes, and hands and chainsaws from Egypt all the way to Africa and ain't nothing seen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all right for the white folks. Uh huh. To do the gentrification and get in the black folks area and buy up everything. Ain't nothing said. It's called gentrification. Oh no. But now the white people and the um and the Chinese people that came out the door with feathers, kicking, howling, screaming, and tap dancing, it's a problem. Well, my God, New Orleans, what matters the most? Does the second line matters the most or these white people and the Chinese people buying up all the businesses and all the houses in the city, gentrification, and then when it comes time, a few years from now, when the Mardi Gras come and all that, they ain't got no season. Everything go out there going to be white because the black people is upset about the second line. Let's talk about it. Uh huh. We we ain't so we ain't gonna, so now all of a sudden you got first of all we not even discussing about the night the whole at this point I'm gonna say it, cause see when I say this right here this the part right here hit him hard when I say this part right here throw the whole second line away throw the whole second line. Oh, wait. They have other people, other second line groups waiting on dates. Throw the whole second. Let's start here first. The Night War people, they come together as Night War people. We tied. I'm here first. Whoever is the leader, who is the leader of the second line people? Send them in here. Who is the leader of the second line culture? Let's start here. Why do the night wall people got to have three different times? They got the nine times, they got the big nine, and they got the CTC steppers. In baseball, three strikes, you're out. It's time to knock them out the park. The night wall should only have one day and open this bitch up for some other people to get in what they got to get in. It's one time to be dumb. It's maybe two times to be dummy. But the third time is shame on us. At this point, it's shame on us. Ain't no way the night wall should get three chances to come out here and be stupid. Now, one time is enough for the night wall to come outside and be stupid. But we got to look at the night wall come outside three times and be stupid. Yesterday should be enough. Yesterday was enough for the city of the New Orleans eyeballs. They looked a motherfucking mess on yesterday. Ain't nothing looked good yesterday. Some of them looked like they was going for the Easter Bunny. The other ones looked like they had them beat up Santa Claus and an eight on the presents. It was a time in that night wall on yesterday. Them big fat folk ass people was dressed like Santa Claus up on that fucking um trolley. Let's start there first. 
them big fat people was up there with the Santa Claus clothes on, on Charlie's. It's all right for Santa Claus to be fat and white because he delivering gifts. It looked like the big fat black people up there yesterday with the Santa Claus outfits looked like they had them ate every present that Santa Claus was trying to drop off. Now, that's a damn shame. Yesterday was a time. I was trying to call Amber Sherry on yesterday. I was trying to call Amber Sherry yesterday to see if she wanted to be nice for the Christmas holidays and donate fajas and girdles to everybody had on a Santa Claus outfit on that trolley yesterday. That nine wall looked at a motherfucking mess. It looked at a mess. And y'all, none of the people looked at a motherfucking fool. And y'all were in that night wall. It was a time. At some point, y'all sits up there and y'all boycotted Manchu. Y'all boycotted all this stuff for a week. And it went away and y'all back buying the Manchu chicken. We got to stand up for what's right. Why is we letting our people making a fool of ourselves? Them black people looked as stupid yesterday. They had just because Santa Claus um is the Santa Claus red outfit with, with a fat body in it, that don't mean every fat body had to put on a Santa Claus. What was the theme on yesterday? What was the theme on yesterday? I am confused. It started off looking like um, oh Lord, I got a headache. I don't know what's going on. All I could hear in my ears was the song that was saying, It's beginning to look like Christmas. It's beginning to look like Christmas. I don't know what's going on. All in one second line, we went from Mardi Gras to Easter and left in Christmas. What was going on? You had Jumping Jack. Lily Lightfoot and, and, and jumping um and jumping jack and we had the two one fool out there. What was going on? At some point we got to throw it away. We got other second line groups that's trying to come outside and get a date, but we can't because you got dumb, dumb, and dumber. Dumb, dumber, and dumbest coming outside three times a second line season. It's enough. We sh- the people should only have to deal with the nine wall one time a year. One time a year. If that's the fact, if that's the case, fuck it. Let the, f- let the six wall people, the second line people, let the people have the six wall. At least they're going to come out. No matter if they got the robber scam to get their pieces, they're going to come outside looking presentable. They're going to come outside looking as one. Yes, they are. Yes, they are now. Let's call a spade a spade now. The six wall is going to come out there looking as as one, no matter if they got to go ride Peter to pay Paul, no matter if they got to use their light bill money to buy their fake Gucci shoes, whatever it is, whatever it is, you got to give it to them. the white, uh, not the white people, because I don't know what was going on. The black people in the six wall is going to come outside. They're going to come outside looking as one. The king and his crew the queen and her crew and the second line people, they go all come outside looking nice. Now you got to give it to them. They go be clean as the board. Yes, Lord. They go be queen. They go be clean as the board. It makes no sense. And I'm going to say this again. It makes no sense for the nine world people to come outside looking dirty, looking dumb, and, and it, for it to be unbelievable yesterday. At this point, it seems like the night war. Yeah, I got to say it as a whole. I got to say it as a whole because I don't know what part of the night war the people was from on yesterday. I don't know what's going on. They must got a new zoo that they done built because I ain't never known for the night war to have a zoo. Well, you know, well, you know. I don't know what's going on at this point. It could just, it's so much to say at this point. I don't know what's going on. Um, So it, it, it was it a gentrification second line. I don't know what's going on. It was mind blowing and mind boggling. And I don't care who say what, because tonight I got time. I'm ready to wrestle anybody who wants to get on here and say that. I'm ready to wrestle anybody 
who got something to say. They sent me a post yesterday and I'm going to let it live because I don't know who behind the nine times page. Whoever's behind the nine times page uploaded. I got the screenshot and them people said two men name. And they put it together and this and that and this and that. And y'all could go on y'all little live tomorrow, meaning today, and say what y'all want about the little second line. Ma'am, sir, whoever is behind the nine times page in the nine times second line, they got to be Stevie Wonder or um, what's that man named Ray Charles? Stevie Wonder or Ray Charles got to have them been to put this together. I don't know what's going on. It looked like it was the Easter Bunny, the Christmas people, the Minecraft people all came together and decided they're going to put on what they want to put on. Can we get with the people, the committee who put this together? We got to take at least two of the dates from the night war and give them to people who deserve them. I just can't. We just can't as the people look at the night war three different times. Y'all made it. The nine, the the nine, the nine times looked good. Or was it the big nine? Whatever the first one was, they looked good. They made it. You know, they they, they had took us to um they took us to Mexico. Um you know, I'm not gonna say they looked good, because um I just don't know what was going on. There was Mexicans with bra tops on, with guns and um, cowboys hats on. I don't know, but they, I know they, the, the the theme was to take us to the border. They took us to the border. Um, you know, they had their bra tops on and their stomachs was hitting the kneecaps. You know what I'm saying? But um, we made it to the border with the first night wall. That was enough for me. And for the night wall to come back on yesterday... With um with the yaka meat sauce going, it was too much for me. At this point, what is we doing as the New Orleans now? What is we doing at the New Orleans? Could could they do something? Could they run their ideas past somebody with a little bit fashion or something? Now I need I'm you know I'm open the flow because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm open the flow for somebody from the culture to come up here. Because we the people need to know, well, what's the culture at this point? Well, what's the culture? I passed my opinion on I didn't like what the people was wearing last year. Now, I passed my opinion about I didn't like what they was wearing last year. And there was a problem. I said that some people that are 70, 80 years old should retire. You know, they, they should retire. You know, it's hard for them to put their left foot in front of their right foot. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and last year, I say that. And this year... The same people, thank God, they made to see another year, but now they're 71 and 81 years old, and um, they was on the trolley. Um, they was in their cars, and, you know, they they, 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 they they probably didn't like what was said last year because it was a little bit raw, but they understood the assignment, and they came back this year with an um, understanding heart, with an understanding soul. Um, so, you know, we gave their, them their roses when it was due. But um, on yesterday, you know, it, it was just a time. It was a time. So I need to know, um, I need somebody to tell me, well, what's the culture? You see, last year when I talked about the clothes, I was tearing the culture up. I was doing this. I was doing that. Because Keith ain't from the fucking culture. He on second line. He fucking the culture up. This and that. Y'all see, the people who in the culture second line it, Keith, you fucking up the culture. Keith, you say it's too much about the culture. And the culture and the culture and the culture and culture. Oh, Lord. And look at the culture on yesterday. Yesterday, the culture came knocking at the door. What was the culture? So now we went from having ugly clothes to having gentrification. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now the white people, the Chinese people, in the Vietnam War, then whipped America's black ass. And now they party with you. Mm -hmm. See, they, they want to go back to slavery. Now, uh, they, see, they got so much to say. Uh -huh. So I need somebody from the culture to come on up and explain to me what's going on. Because see, Mr. 
Remember Mister? Oh yeah, see they don't know Mister. See, Mister was the white man who whipped your ancestors ass back in the day. Mister? Mister was the ones the the white man who fucked your grandma and your mom back in the days that brought your black ass. It was your ancestors who got their ass whooped by Mister. It was your ancestors who was picking cotton and cutting their fingers off by Mister. Mister was the one who was whooping their ass with chains and whoops back in the day. Uh huh. Mister was the one who was getting his boots spit shine by you niggas. Uh huh. And now look at today. Mister Sun is dancing with you bitches now. <laughs> Girl, I love white people. I love white people. White people go wrestle blacks to the ground. I love it. And they were saying on the video, open it up. Open it up. They're coming on out. And bitch, when they came out, every mouth hit the floor and the tongues rolled out like a red carpet. Yes, it did. Uh-huh. But who the fuck am I? So once again, a year later, I'm just going to pass my comment. I mean, I'm sorry, pass my opinion. I felt like they looked a mess. They looked a fucking mess. They had no direction on what the fuck was going on. They let Lily Two Foot jump in dumb jackass. And they had Two Wong Fu come out there hip hopping. Skipping, jumping. Them people was dancing like the three and four year olds be dancing when the second line man going. Don't tell me nothing about no motherfucking culture because you wants to jump down my throat and jump on my back on my opinion about the culture. But yesterday when the culture kicked you in the ass and let the alligator shoes hang out of y'all booty holes, it wasn't a problem. Don't tell me fuck about my opinion. From here on out, I don't want no bitch from the culture, from the second line to tell me a motherfucking thing about a culture. I'm going to say what I want like I've been doing. And my opinion is going to be my opinion like the fuck I said. Because if you come telling me your opinion, I'm going to give you my opinion on the culture. So as of yesterday, it was stamped. Sealed and delivered by the night wall that the culture is not the culture. They do what the fuck they want. Please don't come tell me a mammy motherfucking thing about nothing. I'm team gentrification. I'm team um Chinese noodles. I'm team um um white lives matter. I am team whatever you want to call it, bitch. I'm team gentrification. Don't come tell me a mammy motherfucking thing about a culture. Let's start there first. So all you bitches that be second lining and wants to say keep fucking up the culture, all y'all photographers that wants to say keep fucking up the culture, all y'all old people and all that, go first with the people who made the night war culture. Let's start there. Don't come tell me fuck. I'm going to make sure from here on out I'm going to pass my opinions. Now, don't come tell me a motherfucking thing. Because yesterday, the culture wasn't culturing. Uh-huh. They wanted to go, they wanted to have kill me last year when I mentioned about the clothes. All I talked about was the clothes and the people was too old to be up out there. And all I said is the culture looks too old. They look like they smelt like the mouth balls. Step your game up. Make it look a little better. That's all I said. The people out there 70, 80 years old ain't even got no breath up in their lungs and wants to get out here and run stuff talking about the second line and all that. It was a problem. But look at the culture on yesterday. Please, every bitch involved in the culture, every nigga involved in the culture, please don't tell me nothing about the culture. I'm going to say what I want and we're going to leave it at that. Please don't tell me nothing about the culture until y'all get Lily Goodfoot, um, um, Jumping Jack, and two Wong Fu and Bruce Lee and them something, something to talk about. Don't come tell me nothing. Bruce Lee and his people done whipped America's ass in the wall. Mm -hmm. Let's start that first. And now they say Bruce Lee and his family up in China stirring some shit up right now and they made the gas or something go up. I don't know what's going on. 
Don't tell me nothing until y'all... Next year, it's going to be Bruce Lee and his whole family out there. See, yesterday, Bruce Lee paved the way. Uh -huh. Let's start there. Yesterday, Bruce Lee and his partners, they paved the way. Don't come tell me motherfucking thing. Don't come tell me nothing. I mean, the white people walking up Dumain Street, walking their dogs and all that, and Dumain Street looking all beautiful. Don't tell me nothing. In the 100, the 200, and the 300 block, Dumain Street is beautiful. Glass doors, beautiful houses, cameras hanging from the gutters. Bitch, I ain't never known for a house in the 6 or area to have gutters. Not since the white people that came in, the houses are beautiful with gutters. And guess what? The houses is three and four hundred thousand dollars on Dumain Street. So if you're on Dumain Street, the 100, 200, 300 block, beautiful. You get to the 400 block, it's abandoned. The 500 block, abandoned. The 600 block, abandoned. You get to the 700 block, the niggas is still there. Just know. Y'all days is coming. The gentrification is coming. Them people is paid, starting from the beginning and they ain't going to stop until they done bought the whole do Main Street. Please don't come looking at me. Don't come looking at me to go speak up for you. When I become mayor, I'm rolling with the gentrification. Didn't y'all approve it? I don't want to hear fuck. Don't tell me nothing. Please don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing. Yeah, look at 2,600 block of St. Philip. Uh-huh, pack your bags, fam. <laughs> pack your bags, fam. The gentrification is coming. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. And them niggas and them niggas and them Chinese people got together and said, well, you know what? Since they're always talking about the night wall, and since, um, the night was always the topic of a situation. Um, you know, and they're saying that the, the white people is only in the bywaters in the night wall. Them niggas say, let's show them how it go. Let's get in the black culture. And let's make our grand, um, our grand, um, um, showing. They showed y'all. They came and they stepped on out with the niggas on yesterday and was shaking and stumping and hopping like it was theirs. You better know in the days and the years to come, they go take over it. Just watch what I tell you. Because niggas can't see past go. As long as the dial amount, I ain't say interest. I want to, see, you know what, right? Grand interest. See, they don't see now. When it comes to money, because see that's that's what niggas do. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a I'm black, so I can say niggas. Let me tell you what niggas do. Niggas is cultures. It's the culture when it's time to culture, but when it comes time to play, pay for stuff, it's an open game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's start that first. So since the niggas in the culture ain't had their money, that's when the gentrification came in. Because them people came with their coin. Uh -huh. See, I ain't stupid. But see, they don't want to say it. See, y'all ain't going to want to say that part. Oh, no, Lord. We don't want to say that part. See, the culture's on the culture when it's um feasible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But see, the cost of cotton went up. The cost of cotton went up. The cost of feathers then went up. So since all that went up, that means the seamstresses who's making these outfits and all that done went up. So what we're doing is we ain't going to the seamstresses no more and keep it culture to make our suits. We go and buy us a suit from Amazon for $40. Or oh, you ain't got your budget? Don't worry about it. Let us put Jumping Jack, Lily Lightfoot, and Tu Wong Fu in it. Because see, they're nice people. 
So they go pay they they own budget in your budget and half of your budget. Let's make it make sense. Uh, I can see the drugs ain't drugging no more. Oh, see there you go. Keith, you doing too much now. Yes, indeed. See the drugs ain't drugging no more. Ah, uh, so your cousin who's selling the nickel bags of weed, the weed ain't weed no more. See the dope, the dope dealers ain't making dope money no more. Cause see now they know they could soak their batteries and get some um what's the white there you go. See, this is big. This is just so much I can see, but I'm ready to wrestle. What's the drug? When they use the acid out the batteries and they go smoke it up like see, they say they say meth is for white people. See, that's what they used to tell me. Meth is the white people's drug. Now, guess what? All the black people using meth. All the black people teeth falling out. They can't afford the cocaine no more. They can't afford the heroin no more. So now the black people, they go, they going in Family Dollar, Walgreens, CVS, they going to steal all the batteries, soak them. And make meth is cheaper form and is stronger form. So that's what they doing. Because see, they going with what's cheaper. Uh-huh. So now since the dope man ain't got... Because see, now you see the dope people. The people who sell drugs and all that. Now y'all see them people working at a job. Y'all be like, damn, what's up? Y'all got a job now? And what the dope man tell you? What the dope man tell you? Yeah, I gave that street shit up. I got to live for my family. No, bitch. That ain't the reason why. You ain't selling dope no more. Because the dope ain't doping no more. Uh-huh. Let's start there. First, I uh, can see I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Oh, my key girl, please handle it. Go handle it. I see, I'm gonna say what they don't want here. Mm -hmm. The nickel bags ain't nickel bagging no more. You can say lies all you want, it's the truth. And don't get mad. Your daddy must sell drugs, and bitch, you ain't chewing no more. Let's call it what the motherfucker it is. The drugs ain't drugging no more. Mm hmm. But see, your daddy who been giving your mama, and you know, better yet, your daddy who been left your mama but buying you all kind of Jordans and all of that, it ain't drugging no more. The drugs ain't drugging no more. Mm -hmm. And the black people say, you know what? Why would I go? Why would I go? I just had this conversation with somebody. Why would I go to? Why would I go buy Levi's from Macy's? For eighty dollars, I could go buy Levi's from J.C. Penney's for thirty dollars. Well, that's what the crackhead's doing. I only get one income a month, and that's my first check and my third check. So why would I give all y'all more than half of my first check and third check? Why would I give um the drug man? My first check and my third check. My only one income a month. When I could go steal batteries out of Walgreens, CVS, Family Dollar, Dollar General, soak them, make me some met, still get high for cheaper. What's up? Yeah, see, they don't want to hear that. Oh, no. They don't want to hear that. Uh -huh. See, they don't want to hear that. It's the cheaper drug. Oh, Lord. Now it's the problem, huh? Say what I said. Y'all know it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Y'all know it's the truth. Uh-huh. So the little girls, the little boys who grew up wearing Jordans and had the little gold rings on their hand and the little gold brick. Guess what? Daddy can't afford it no more. Because the drugs ain't drugging. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't get mad with me. I'm just telling you what I see. I'm just telling you what I see on the streets. Uh-huh. Joe Jackson, push over. Because now all of a sudden, the drug dealers know how to cook. Push over, Joe. Give them a pot and spoon. Because now they're going to try to come cooking gumbo on the streets too. See, now they in hustle mode. They want to do anything they could do 
to make a coin to make a real nigga think that they still got it going on when they ain't got two peas in a bucket. When they ain't got a pot to piss in and the window to throw it out. It showed on yesterday. Niggas ain't got money. We'll let the gentrification step on them and let's wrestle. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's all I had to say. So let's just add people from the culture on here and hear this bullshit what they got to say. Let's hear what these, this bullshit they got to say. I need somebody from the culture. See, last year when I spoke about it, they had over a thousand something people requesting to come on here. Oh, but see, now since the truth has leaked on out, ain't too many bitches got nothing to say. Let's talk today. I got time today. Let's talk today. Uh -huh. See, they don't want to hear that part. You niggas looked the motherfucking fool on yesterday. Ain't nothing good came out of what y'all did yesterday. Y'all looked a motherfucking mess. Everything was stupid. Y'all was so... The outfits was even worse. Did I say that? The outfits looked worse. Let's say that part. Y'all looked it stupid. I would have rather for the stupid shoes and the stupid suits to come back out. Y'all was so stupid they put on Santa Claus outfits. If that's the case, every second line from here on out, when it comes close to a motherfucking holiday, the float better be dressed like it. So in February, bitch, the floats better look like Valentine's Day. For Halloween, the floats better look like um um Halloween. Bitch, better yet, if the second line was in December, next weekend, whatever second line they got going on, they better come outside looking like Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. April... Come out here looking like April Fools. Uh-huh. Let's start. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Mardi Gras, they were 13th. The floats, the second line people better come out with the trailers dressed up like Mardi Gras. Let's wrestle. Because next year, because the gentrification taking over, now the floats going to start looking like dead presidents, happy Veterans Day floats, and all of that. Ash Wednesday floats. Good Friday floats. Uh-huh. Bitch, the float should have came out there looking like a big fried piece of fish. Let's wrestle. Uh-huh. Don't tell me a motherfucking thing no more about the culture. You ain't told two one fool nothing. You ain't told Lily good for nothing. And you ain't told Jumping Jack a motherfucking thing. Don't come telling me. Born and raised in New Orleans. Orleans Parish. Don't tell me a motherfucking thing about a culture. No motherfucking move. Go talk to Mr. Who beat your ancestors' ass for years. Not Mr. Son is out here second line with you dumb bitches. Please don't come tell me nothing about the culture from here on out. I don't want to hear nothing about the culture. And that's just on that. If you don't like it, block me. Please, because if you come telling me anything about the culture, I'm going to make sure I block you. That's right. We got to be fair and honest. Please don't tell me nothing about the culture. And that's just on that. I don't want to hear fuck about a culture. Now, nah, I say what I said, and I said it. You got people from Hong Kong and the Vietnam Wall in, the, um, in China to come down here. Y'all support them every day. Y'all get started hitting these second lines with these second line groups, which y'all designer on, made in China. China, they use your money, the money that y'all sent for y'all designer to China to wet for y'all second lines. China came on over and then used y'all money for their night wall budgets and was on the streets yesterday second lining. So from here on out, everybody um costume better say on the back, made in China. Bye, bitch. <laughs> I don't want no bitch from the culture to come tell me a motherfucking thing. Because all I'm going to say is, bye, bitch, block. I don't want no bitch to tell me nothing from the culture. And that's just on that. I don't want to hear nothing. This is tonight. After tonight is over, don't come tell me nothing about the culture. Please. Don't come tell me nothing about the culture. I don't want to hear nothing about the culture. 
Now let me add these people from the culture. Look, let me look. Even the activist wants to come on here and say something. Let me, oh wait, hold up, activist, hold up. They got somebody. Oh, let me add her up here. Second line, shorty. It's you. Yeah, yeah, let me add the culture up here. What's going on, culture? What's up, baby? Oh, Lord. Not just looking at, looking at the Chinese people on that second line and girl, the white people and all that. What's going on? I just wanted to say, why you rest with them people like that? You wasn't out there yesterday? I was. Oh, did you did you teach one of them people how to second line? Nah. Right. So what what's going on? Was that is this the new culture? I mean, you can't compare them to us. Well, other cultures, because they do their own thing cross there. Oh no, no, no. It wasn't that last year. When I said some of my people clothes, I went to every hood and talked about what had they had going on, what I liked and what I didn't like. Not all of a sudden they have their own culture. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see these Thank people dress different. Right. They don't dress like other second line clubs. All right, this coming from one of them. You're a, one of the most, I can say, top five popular people in New Orleans for second lining. You say what you say, Fat. Uh uh huh. Yeah. Yes, you did. Thank you, second line, Shorty. A part of the culture. That was the first excuse. She said that people do what they want over there. Uh huh. Uh huh. The scene looks like now. Down goes Frazier. It looks like the culture is turning into shambles. Uh-huh. Well, what is going on in the culture? See, last year, around this time, you had the Scubbles and you had the Zell and you had all these people from the culture. You got the trumpet blowers, the tuba carriers. Oh, Lord. They was coming on here. Scubble came on here with his second line outfit and the culture and all of this. Will somebody put the second line clothes on now? And please come enlighten us about where Hollis at. Hollis is Mr. Culture. Where is Hollis? Where is all these cultural people? At this point, after yesterday, it seems as if the culture was thrown away. Where's Tyson? Tyson is in, in the culture. Tyson is born and raised in the culture. Where is Tyson, Mama Drika? Where is the cultural people? And I would love to hear what Tyson and Drika have to say, since they are also not only from the culture, but they are from the Ninth Ward. Where is the culture when the culture is called upon? Uh huh. Looks like the culture has gotten kind of quiet. What is going on? I need the culture to be the culture 365. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Looks like the culture don't want culture no more. Let me add um the activists in. God damn, Keith. You undefeated on this one, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh. You, you undefeated on this one. That's the bar they came out of? Is that the one next to the U-Haul? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I remember when they built it, renovated it, got hit by a truck, and they fixed it up again. Oh, that's in, Key. The, that's in the Bywater area side, huh? It's in the Bywater. I'm born and raised here since 1989. Seen rumors, discover everything on the street. This is my street. Oh, yeah, all right. I can see my porch light from here. All right. I'm here for the yeah. big Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the few Negroes that bought their house. You feel me? So they can't move me. They got to pay me a half a meal to leave. There you go. But the, the real shit you be talking about. Mm -hmm. So, so, so let, Dow, you killing them. But let me tell you what else they fucked up around here culturally. Oh, there you go. L L last Mardi Gras, I told the entire city and I recorded it. I say for the first time in history, I seen an entire section of the night wall celebrate Mardi Gras the wrong way. These motherfuckers wasn't listening to no Mardi Gras music. They was listening to techno music. They didn't have on the Mardi Gras colors. They had on 
uh, Halloween costumes. They celebrated a uh, fucking Mardi Gras like it was Halloween. Mm -hmm. Mixed with a little techno. So the culture over in this area. Oh. I love the night wall. I've been in here a long time. Hey, bro, we hit. We broke and you stomping on our back tonight. Oh, well, yeah. Well, what happened yesterday? I feel like yesterday, the uh, Mr. and Mrs. and Vietnam Wall did the most stomping. What you say? Oh, yeah. The Asian dude, he stomped out. What about Mr. Yeah, and Mrs.? He... What about um, Lily Goodfoot and um, Jumping Jack? Oh, she froze and posed. She made sure she got snapped up. She came out first, as she should, ladies at first. Yeah. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is a Creole lady. Then I look, I say, oh, shit, what's going on? Then I saw the man. Then I saw the Asian dude. I say, oh, Lord. Hey, bro, listen. I don't do all that second line and stuff. My daddy from the country. He ain't from New Orleans. Look, you look, dig? Look, so look, I've been careful. Wait, is that a, oh, all... is that a gentrification ball? Yes, hold on, hold on. Yes, what you don't know about it? I know I didn't been in and out that motherfucker. They're very welcoming. Hold on, let me clear my screen up so you can really see. Yeah. Oh, they're very welcoming. They got, you know, the bikes parked outside, all that good stuff. Yeah, they nice folks. It's the, um, the sea cave, man. It's the sea cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got video games and everything. It's a cool place to come to. Right, so little Jojo, go to, he, go to, he go to jail for... um tagging and spray painting on the walls but now they building is all tagged and spray painting oh they let them get away with all that around here i've been i've been watching it for years man been here for 89 watch them get to do and have fun and do shit i'd have got beat up by the police for doing so the one thing the night wall is the by water is in the night wall hell yeah right. i'm gonna tell you what the by water is everything from saint claude to the river and from the train tracks to the industrial canal, that's the bow water. Now they spread it out longer and pushed it farther out so they could trick white people to buy houses for expensive. But the real bow water is from the St. Claude to the river, from the train tracks to Poland. And everybody from the Ninth Ward, they, they know me from around here. So gentrification is in order right now. Oh, they, this, they didn't took this bitch. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I just this, oh, make... Yeah, this section, right. this for them. Now, it always was kind of like a mixed neighborhood, but they kicked us out in 96. They kicked us. What up, what up, what up, baby? They kicked, they kicked us out of our uh, Section 8 apartments in 96 and pushed us with all the rest of the black people. They kicked us out this section of the Ninth Ward. But I bought my mama house that she was living in. Right. From the, from the person who owned it. You're you, going to have you, to pay me to leave, bitch. You paid the taxes on it, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought that bitch eighty thousand cash back in two thousand eight or something. Smart man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm about to leave too, cause I don't want to live around there no more. The food don't taste the same. The people ain't the same. I gotta go. You could probably get. I gotta probably, go. You can get up three, four hundred thousand for it. That's what they going on do, man. But that's what I'm gonna sell it for then. Mm -hmm. They gotta cash me out. But yeah, Key, you yeah, you you stomped the night world out tonight, Key. I yeah. must say, and you on point with everything. The culture, the culture over, yeah. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm drop down. Thank you, thank and, you, and, and let somebody else get it. Oh, thank you, Reggie. Oh, there you go. That came from Mr. Activist himself. Yeah, I I need somebody from the night wall to come up here. Is anybody in the night wall available at this time? I need somebody from the night wall because see, last year everything on the request button was nine this, nine that, nine this, nine. I don't see none of them people tonight. What is going on? Is anybody from the night ward on here? My, my nigga, my nerve, my little heart, Tyson even commented and said, um, something about it ain't this, it ain't that, I ain't got nothing to say. But Lord have mercy, if you mention anything about the night ward, Tyson be trying to jump through the phone and won't fight. What is going on? Is there anybody, is there anybody from the night ball that wants to talk tonight? Even my brother right here, Marcus. There's the lone Marcus, boxer. My brother about to go fight, y'all. Make sure y'all get your money together to go support him in Mississippi, he going to fight. But even boxer say, Key, 
I ain't never saw none of them people on death alone. But boxy, you got to know this. They go be at the auction office. So they about to move on Desalone and it's gonna be gentrification on Desalone. Mm, mm, mm. I'm from the sea. Oh Lord, look at my cousin, y'all. Let me pin him. My cousin wants to fuss with me all at our family house about the night walk. And my cousin, Big Florida, he ain't from Little Florida, he's from Big Florida Project. Look what he said. At this point, I'm from the CBD. <laughs> Let's go, Nightwall. Oh, no. The Nightwall is rolling tonight. Yes, Lord. Well, what is going on? Oh, Lord. That's New Orleans for you. Yes, Lord. That is New Orleans for you, huh? Go ahead on. I'm trying to, I'll keep looking at the request people. Let me add. Look at Don Lucci won't come up. Let me add on Don Lucci. Don, where you from? Is you from Slidell? What's going on? The people say you from Slidell. I just want to make sure before you speak on any gentrification that's going on. Don, where you from? Man, I'm from the same. Bernard. Listen, how much it cost to get in the uh how much it cost to get in the second line? So how much did uh how much did Ricky Tan little brother pay? Cause they paid a lot. Listen, they paid a lot. They paid a lot to do that. Yeah, Listen, cause they paid their budget and they paid they a few black people. They shit was together better than everybody else. Shit, they 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 shit was together better than everybody else. So how much they paid? I, I think they paid theirs and they paid everybody else's. I think. Oh, that's some toe up shit, down. Listen, that's some toe up shit, down. But Don, let me. Why I got you here, man? They was talking about. They said your boy, who, BC Powder. They said he was dragging you through the mud. What happened? I pulled up on him. I pulled up on him. No, had no issue. Say he was supposed to apologize on live. We ain't got no motherfucking issue though. Nah, oh. we don't have no issue. I pulled up on him. So you pulled up on Durgeon Walk? Yeah. Nigga, my cousin stayed two doors down from him. Two doors so down you, from him. So you pulled up and parked? I pulled up, burnt rubber, smoked the cigarette, got on live and everything. Talk shit. I'm chilling in front of the door. I went in the house too. I was in the house. Yeah, I pulled up. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I pulled up on him. And we got the business clip, but he was supposed to apologize, but you know, I don't know what happened to that part. You feel what I'm saying? But nah, man, that shit ain't about nothing. He must that have tricked you. Him. He ain't tricked you. He tricked you because normally, you know, he go by for cursing all little girls and stuff like that, but I ain't heard him say nothing about apology yet. To nah, listen, he ain't, listen, the nigga ain't never apologized. He ain't never said nothing. But I actually did pull up on him. I met his wife in person. I met him in person. Um, He wanted me to uh use my uniform store to help him get his business going. I mean, get the the shit going for the young boys that get uh you know hurt by the police or hurt in the street and shit. He wanted to use the funeral home key. He said he wanted to use transportation vehicles too. You know what I'm saying? So I told him fuck with me. You feel what I'm saying? But don't ever call me a dick sucker on social media. Right. I, I, you know I ain't fucking with that. You feel me? Like we could crack jokes and play, but it wasn't no you know me checking him or him checking me no shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was right. a it was a man's conversation. You feel me? But if you pull up a friend's house, that was the biggest check of them all. No, man. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. There ain't no check. I just wanted to make sure he knew he was talking. You know what I'm saying? Because I know him. I know him from the project. I know I know him when he used to run around. You know what I'm saying? He ain't always been like that. So it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. When I'm happy, y'all was, so, was good as men. Right. Um, to squash okay. whatever was going on. But yeah, ain't no squashing. I don't want nothing to talk to him about. So listen, your, cousins who, your cousins who sell, your cousins who um, sell him the coke, tell him to call me. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye. Bye, bye, Keith. Bye. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, is there anybody from the um line? You have anyone come up here and say? Because I see the um the gentrification that took over. Um, the whites and took over. I have a book in the night. Um. If anybody, um, if anybody um, with the gentrification, black, white, green, or purple, um, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, if anybody want to come out and have fun on Reed Boulevard tonight at the KMM Amazing Events Hall, pull up, pull over, it's free, um, free food. We might not have no noodles and stuff, um, um, but they open. It's a Christmas party. They open. They wide open. But is there any key set trying to get NOPD? I ain't trying to get NOPD involved. What's up? 
All I'm saying, what's up? What I said? What I said? Get MLPD involved for what? I was just trying to see if if um if Don Lucci wanted to, um I just want to slide in the DM or just text me um his cousin's name who be selling. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's not free. Well, fact that ain't free, they should su should still pull up and support at the KMM Amazing Event Hall. They pull up and they um support Mister, who beat their ancestors' ass. Mm hmm. They make them a part. Mister them beat their ancestors' ass, their grandma ass, great grandma ass, and they now they done teamed up with Mister Child and partying in the great streets of the Nola. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vietnam War then beat the black people to the street, down to the ground. And now they got the Vietnam War son second lining with them. They go support the Vietnamese over there, get their toes cut off, get their nails cut off and all of that. I went, got me a, pet, a manicure the other day. Look, I got me a manicure the other day and she done cut my skin. Then cut a hole up in my arm, my hand. I said, well, excuse me. I said, it's bleeding. You don't see that? She said, yeah. And that helped her put glue where she cut me at. I let her. I let her. Then after she finished the manicure, she went back. And she 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 um got the glue off to stop it. I guess the glue was the band-aid. Um, then she put some kind of other stuff on that almost burnt the whole finger off. Yes, she did. And once she said, you're done, I said, I am really done. I walked out with my good manicure feet and hands and walked out of there. She said, you forgot to pay. I said, I know. I'm going to use your pay and go to the door, to the, to the store, and buy me some more ointment and band-aids. Uh-huh. I ain't go back because I'm scared I may have a warrant because I walked out and did not pay. Didn't. Didn't pay. And I got the bad finger and the receipt to prove it. I had to go get some ointment. She had them cut my motherfucking finger. And instead of getting a band-aid, she put glue on it. Nail glue. Ain't paid for it. Did walked out. She said, wait, you, you didn't cap. I promise you, I still got the receipt. Promise you, I still got the receipt. Still got the receipt. I wasn't paying for a motherfucking thing. Bitch, you cut me, ho. The skin wasn't over there. You done cut the whole finger. Bitch, I ain't paying for a motherfucking thing. Uh-huh. Let's start there. Got the receipt. What is we talking about? Did get the receipt. Pay for what? Ain't paying for nothing. Bitch, you'd have cut the finger, ho. Sure didn't. I don't know where I put it. Must be sitting in the car. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. This the new kind. It come hard. It got to be in a coat. Mm -hmm. Your Manny and Petty was a lot more. I don't know what the price was at the Manny and Petty. I ain't paid a dime. I walked out of there. She said, you no pay? I said, I no pay because I no want buy this. I bleed. I had to use my money and go to the, um, to the store and give me some ointment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that's how you got to handle them people. Them foreigners for that, they cut up on you and all that, still make you pay. Wrong guy, fam. Eh? I ain't gonna leave out here dripping the blood and got to pay you for cutting me. Next time you're gonna be in some grease. Boneless chicken, that's why I ain't going back over there. Ain't going back, now I got to find me another China I'm gonna go to. Uh -huh. Notice I say Chinaman, because see, the black people, they want you to have an apartment and all of that. You go to the Chinese place, even if they can't take you, they're going to still make sure they dip you in the water. Bitch, by the time they get to you, you're going to be like a motherfucking raisin. But us black people, small-minded people, oh, yeah, they fast in here. Bitch ain't got nobody to do your nails, nobody to do your toes. Bitch, you have sat in the water for so long that you have turned into a motherfucking prune. And they get on there and say, oh, I love this place, because guess what? They fast in here. They don't play. All the while, dummy Lamont, you done sat in the water for two hours. Your motherfucking raisin with a side of prune, bitch. They ain't did nothing, but you're so stupid with a small mind. 
They done put you in water and left your dumb ass there. They put the little blue thing in the water. You feel like the, 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 your feet bubbling in the blue water is doing something? No, bitch. You just done shriveled up right there, dummy Lamont, prune juice. Deny your prune juice right there. And you feel like they done done you something. So now, the minute they rub you, they just gotta scrub your foot. All they gotta do is rub your foot, bitch, and the skin coming off. Cause you, the, you, it's a prune now. But y'all so small minded and think that y'all so stupid and mixed up. Black people got to catch up, mustard. Black people got to catch up. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Black people is stupid. And I'm so happy I'm black to see it, to tell my people that they're stupid. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Ooh, yeah, it's so fast. All the while, stupid. You just shrug it up like a prune. Oh, Lord, look at it. Got on my feet now. I finished in five minutes. I guess so. Bitch, all the dead skin that was on you didn't melt it off you. I'm get all they had to do is rub you, put a little grease on you, sing you out the door. The fuck we talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see if anybody. That's a shame. I swear to God, no exaggeration. Last year, this bitch was filled up with everybody from the night walk. Nine, nine, nine. Everything was nine. Is nine at nine? I don't see nobody from that area trying to get on here. Sounds like to me gentrification has won. Mm -hmm. Yep. The night will do what they want. Yep. So we need to change the slogan to the night will do what they want. Everybody else do what they can. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, Ashley. Am I lying, Ashley? It was filled. Everybody out the night wall has something to say. Last year. This year ain't a soul trying to get up here and say nothing. Look at CTC Queen 24, China. Let me get her on here. Let's see if the queen will come on. She's a queen. She should want to come up here and give her speech. Her night wall speech. Let's see. Cute. Oh, the CTC Queen. Let me snapshot it. CTC Queen 24, China declined. Is gentrification has won. Gentrification has won. So everybody that's on here that wants to go on Facebook and upload statuses about Keith was um Keith did this for the culture and Keith did Y'all go back on your same Facebooks and say the culture did it to the culture. Please don't say nothing about Keith about the culture. Thank you for the culture. I still love you.